Guy Williams just released the most damaging, brain dead, and bizarre interview I've ever fucking seen. And I've been obsessed with it since it came out. I can't stop, I can't stop looking at it. So bear with me as I lose my mind about this even more and explain to you why it is so fucking bad. I can smell the uranium on it as you lean towards it. <laughs> okay, Boomer. We have the most enormous big gay rainbow across my electorate. They're not going to win an election. Let's keep moving! Guy Williams is a New Zealand comedian. He's best known for being on the John and Ben show. That was a good show back in the day when it was on. If I go get the clothes changed and I come back, you do it again. I'm gonna be pissed off. Oh, yeah. Play b-ball covered in flour. There's no b-ball. The really? game cancelled too. We just got him to text you. Yeah. Oh. There's no game. Well, good news is you don't have to play basketball. I don't think there's no good news. You guys are losers. <laughs> and now he's doing his own show called New Zealand Today, which is like a like a comedian news show type thing where he got interviews and skits and things like that. It, it's kind of good. I watch it every so often. And last week he interviewed Leo Malloy. Now Leo Malloy is a you know, restaurant owner. You know, a bar owner, absolute asshole, and he's running for Auckland Mayor. You know, he's coming in second place. He's polling in second place. You know, b baffling, I know, because he's a fucking moron, and he's coming in second place. And so, uh, Guy Williams decided to go interview him. That, that was his idea. So, like, Guy Williams thought he would go in and say, "Oh, Leo Malloy, you're such a fucking moron. Why are you running?" It was meant to be like a comedic piece. He said it was an interview to destroy Leo Malloy's. Uh, political career was going to destroy his chances of becoming mayor. It's a disaster waiting to happen. I needed to stop it. But Guy Williams gave Leo Malloy everything he could have fucking wanted from this interview. This interview is so damaging to <laughs> to Auckland because I think it's it's so promising that Leo Malloy could possibly win now. It is it is it's embarrassing this interview, and it's it's really annoying. Like, it, it, it frustrates me because I can see maybe what Guy Williams was trying to go for, and it didn't, it didn't pan out, and, and Leo fucking won. Leo Malloy won. So let me go over this interview, you know, bit by bit, and let me explain it to you. So if you haven't seen the interview, please go uh, have a look at it before you watch this. Uh, I've got the link down in the description. So let me explain the gist of what happened. So Guy Williams starts by highlighting all the previous mayors and candidates who have been controversial and shit, talking about Lynn Brown, you know, cheating on his wife, John Tommy Harry doing a sig hail while he was running and being all controversial and things like that. And so he, he describes all these previous mayors and candidates as being a bunch of cunts, and then goes on and says, but Leo Malloy, definitely not, he could never be mayor. And it's like, bro, you just described people who w were mayor right you know Lynn Brown was the mayor like twice right like he, he won multiple times and then and then turned around and said no 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 but Leo Moy definitely not even though he's exactly like all these people who have already been mayor before so actually it wouldn't actually be the end of the world if he became mayor so then he says, I've got to stop Leo Malloy from becoming mayor. So he rushes over to Leo Malloy's headquarters, yeah, the bar headquarters, and he goes, you know, Leo Malloy, you shouldn't be mayor. Let's have an interview. He calls him a dickhead. He shows them how he's a dickhead because Leo Malloy is a fucking dickhead. And Leo Malloy, they, they chat, they banter, they talk. They barely talk about policy. Barely. Barely talk about policy. Which is, you know, the thing that the mayor should be talking about if he wants to become the mayor, maybe. And the brief time that they did talk about policy, Guy Williams agreed with them. Guy Williams said it was a great idea. Great, Guy Williams said his policies were good. Okay, okay I actually quite like that. So what's your next policy? It's a disaster waiting to happen. Okay. okay, I actually quite like that. There was only one way to stop Leo Malloy from becoming mayor. Okay, okay I actually quite like that. I'm actually happy. So not only did they barely talk about policy, all they talk showed was his, his personality. And the slight little bit that they talked about personality, Guy Williams endorsed it. Guy Williams said it was good policy. If they had a longer discussion in this section about policy, why the fuck did they cut it? Why did they cut it? Guy Williams, you should have, like, shown more things that were bad about his policies, right? Because he has bad policies. Like, Malloy's just making jokes, having fun. He looks like a guy you kind of want to have a beer with. Which is kind of what people want in a politician, right? Like, people kind of assume that the mayor is going to do mayor shit, you know? So, like, whoever they put in as mayor would do the mayor shit. They kind of just want a bro, you know? Someone that they like. 
and it's really damaging when the person probably can't do the man shit. So then Guy goes to the street and interviews people about whether Leo Malloy should be mayor. And I don't know if he cherry picked or what, but the people he talked to all liked Leo Malloy, all knew who he was, and all said, yeah, you know, his uncharismatic shit could be great. And like, I think Guy Williams wants to make it comedic, like, oh no, everyone wants to vote for Leo Malloy, I've gotta, I've gotta beat him. But what this shows to anyone who's un unacquainted is, oh, so other people like Liam Malloy as well. He's not just some underdog, unknown, dickhead. Oh, maybe I could vote for him. I don't, I don't know. Like, it seems all right. So then after these people said they'll vote for Liam Malloy, he's like, no, I've got to go v destroy Liam Malloy. So he goes into a, some stupid staged boxing fight with Liam Malloy. It is, it's embarrassing. Well, like, look at this fight. You've got cheering people all around. You've got All Blacks in Liam Malloy's corner. Kevin Mialamu was in his corner supporting him. Oh shit, I don't know anything about politics, but shit, that guy is getting supported by by All Blacks. It can't be that bad. Kevin Mialamu gave, gave him a big thumbs up. That's good enough for me. Fucking tick, make him my man. And then they do their fake little boxing fight, and then, oh no, Guy Williams just lost. Oh, now, what does he have to do? Oh, he has to endorse Liam Malloy and give him time on TV to say, vote for Liam Malloy. Sorry, did, did all the other candidates get this opportunity? No, Leo Malloy got this in your f fucking bullshit fake fight. Guy Williams, you're like 6'5". You could step on him. L Leo Malloy is such a fucking manlet. He's tiny. He's a teeny tiny man. Like, you you can't fake that. You, like, come on. <laughs> like, you could have beaten him up. It just shows that he's now a tough guy, right? Oh, damn, he's a popular tough guy that doesn't give a crap about being nice and PC. Oh, he's gonna bring it to the man. Drain the swamp, maybe? You know, he's he's going the full Trump route of being, you know, unabashedly un-PC, unabashedly an asshole. He's acting like he's gonna fight for the lesser man, even though he fucking drives a Bentley. Like, he, he's, he's literally Donald Trump. It's a bit of a cliche to say this nowadays, oh, he's Trump, he's Trump. Leo Malloy is, is doing play-by-play -play the Donald Trump playbook, being controversial on purpose, doing these, like, weird stunts, and having idiots like Guy Williams to fucking help him along. Just like Jimmy Fallon did. Just like John Oliver did. Do it. <laughs> do it. Look, look at me. Do it. I will personally write you a campaign check now on behalf of this country, which does not want you to be president, but which badly wants you to run. It's all the same thing, you know? They're hyping him up as a joke because I think it's funny, but it's just gonna come true, and it's so depressing. This whole segment was just an advertisement for Leo Malloy's political campaign to be Auckland Mayor. It's, it's embarrassing. Guy Williams barely pushed back on him. He pushed back on like, on like very niche things, on, on like him being rude and him saying like some un-PC things. This clown here, he, he can't think like anything other than a fucking retard who opens his mouth. Don't and say retard, that's word. offensive. I care whether you're black, brown, white, yellow or otherwise. Wait, who are yellow people? Like Leo for what? And yeah, those are NPC. Those are dick moves. You like the things he said he shouldn't have said. But at the end of the day, the, the average person doesn't give a fuck about that. The average person cares about their rates, cares about their travel time to work, cares about your know, policy. They care about the policy and they they see that Auckland Council is broken, right? And they 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 go maybe an outsider can do it. You know, and it's really sad that Leo Malloy is that guy. So, like, what was Guy Williams thinking? Was he thinking that by showing him talking his cringe stuff, like, out in the open, that, like, that people would see it and go, oh, that sucks, I'm not going to vote for him. If you thought that, then just let him campaign as is. Because everything he said, he would have said anyway anywhere else. You didn't, like, catch him out on anything. You know, the, the type of shit that he said on your show is just the same shit he says to the Herald when he says he's, he's, he wants to, like, behead Efeso Collins and, and mount his head on the wall. You know, like, that's the type of thing he says all the time, to be intentionally controversial. But you think you're, like, catching him out and, and gonna ruin his political com uh, you know, campaign? That is his political campaign. That's all he's doing. And you're feeding right into it. He, like, you're a useful fool to him. Like, can you not see that? It's, it's so sad. Like Guy Williams, let, let, let me help you out, alright? Like, from the, from, the, from the basis of what you had, this is what you should have done. 
Remember that time Leo Malloy said, hey, maybe you should like touch my dick, you know? Haha, <laughs> that's funny. You should have turned around and said, you should have turned around and said, oh, was that what your employee said when uh, she turned around and accused you of sexual harassment and you had to pay out money to her because the employment tribunal said you were um, wrong and in and, and misconduct? Wow, you know, wouldn't that be something that the main, main public uh, should be knowing about on on you know public tv you know that uh leo malloy you know has multiple convictions you know is it is this something we should know i don't know guy williams is that not something you should have fucking asked is that not something you should bring up in your political hit job you know that's what you're trying to you know, claim it is right you're trying to ruin his political campaign what are you doing you're you're being mates with him you're being mates with this guy you're not ruining his campaign you know, maybe in your interview you could have talked about his lack of experience. You should have said, hey, Fesso Collins, you know, um, someone he's running against, is a current sitting member of, of the Auckland Council. You should have said, Viv Beck, you know, another person running, is the CEO of a, of a massive lobby group, part of the city, that is, you know, so intertwined with local council that it is great experience for her. What about Wayne Brown, who's a former mayor? He, he knows what it's like to be a mayor. He's worked with the local council on, on working on the ports. What the fuck does running headquarters bar have anything to do with becoming mayor? It's, it's ridiculous. He has no experience. And you didn't fucking mention it. You didn't say that. Like, that's the first thing you say. You go, hey, do you know the first thing about being mayor? You should have, like, quizzed him on, on mayoral things. You should have asked him about the separation of powers between the mayor and, and the council. You should have asked him about what what he thinks he can bring to the table other than the policies that he's saying he's going to bring because he needs to coalition build with the council that might not make interesting tv like a fake boxing fight but it's important for people to fucking know and that's what you should be talking about and what about pressing him on his actual policies like the only policy he brought up really was his his, his busing policy which he stole from Efeso Collins and which is a good policy I agree and the all you so all you said on policy Guy Williams is yeah that's a great policy and it's like baffled baffled you, so you, you want to destroy his political campaign and then say oh but he's actually got pretty good policies oh well oh great good policies uh, get a bear with him, win a fight against a 6'5 giant. Man, this guy's all-round a renaissance man. This guy's the best. Leo Malloy, fucking vote for him. You know, that's all your thing shows. It's stupid. It's so dumb. He looks like a great guy. He looks like, like a winner. That's what you've done. And the editing choices are embarrassing as well. Like, you've got these, like, sinister, cool music for Leo Malloy. Like, oh, shit, he's gonna get it done. You should be playing whimsical fucking circus music when he's on. Show, like, this guy's a fucking fool. Fucking edit a little hat on his head. You know, put a little jester hat on his head. Show, like, oh, this guy's a fucking dumbass. But you didn't do that. You showed cool videos of him boxing. You showed him, like, looking all cool and say, vote for Leo Malloy for a better Auckland or whatever shit. That is not bringing him down, that's elevating him. That's show you like, you, you took the footage that, that he gave you, and you didn't fucking, like, make it worse. Like, you could have edited him to look like a fucking idiot, and you didn't. It's, it's so sad. Like, it's hard to even see this as a political hit job on Leo Malloy. Like, it's unabashedly an endorsement of him. Guy Williams, like, he says at the end as a joke, but no, this whole thing is an endorsement of Leo Malloy. Like, he, like, Guy Williams has been, been trashed by this, by everyone. He's, he's gone out defending himself, saying, oh, I was trying to be funny, all that stuff. And so he's either a fucking moron, or he is a, or, or, or sinisterly, this was an endorsement. This was intentionally an endorsement of Leo Malloy. This was, because you don't see him doing these pieces for Efeso Collins, for Viv Beck, or Wayne Brown, or whoever else is running, you know. This is just for Leo Malloy. He's getting free advertisement on your show and it's it's ridiculous like this got me so depressed i went and i i donated to Professor collins my preferred candidate you know please go and donate to candidates that you like uh, go out there support them fundraise for them um you know uh, volunteer for them get the word out you know, read their policies because obviously the new zealand today team is is already on the media arm of the leo malloy campaign so, you know, like, Efeso Collins is an uphill battle with that, clearly. So, because I do endorse Efeso Collins, you know, link in the description for his website. Please check out his policies. Please just donate to him. It's great. And don't fucking vote for Leo Malloy. Guy Williams, you're an embarrassment. This is... Ugh. Oh.